ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Watchers Total War, King Rivers and Hills, House Greystock, as we know. Continuation of House Bolton, you will know the deal by now. Anyway guys, when we, you last left off, I said I'd go a couple of turns ahead, and as you notice, it is a couple of turns ahead and quite a few things have changed. So the first main dramatic thing you may notice is we now control Castle Rock and this town here. Cairns, or whatever the hell you want to fucking call it. Uh, long story short is, I... Got to the point where I had enough cash to start building armies, which are probably going to go into debt relatively soon. But, uh... I, build, wait, I waited until I had enough cash so that I could build loads of armies and still have some cash left. But I'll go into debt slowly now. And I bribed House Mud to give me the... Well, I demanded payment for the Cassidy Rock in cash and assistance against certain factions and all that kind of crap. Long story short, we now control all of the Westerlands coast. And the Iron Islands, as you know. The Ironborn being pushed back from the north. We now control all the north, the Iron Islands, and the Ironborn are, I assume, down by the arbor, causing House Gardner God knows how much grief. As you can see here, they control that port now as well. So, yeah. I have ma uh, married into House Martell. I will show you. The old king died of old age in uh, Lannisport, and now his his oldest son is now the king of the Dreadfort and the Lord of the North. He's married to a Martell girl, he has one heir at the moment, and his brother is the prince, Prince Roos Greystark, who's also married to a Martell girl, there were no other princesses around, there were no mud princesses or anything, and they're kind of related to mud, so it would be a bit weird. <laughs> but, and yeah, and I haven't found a, someone to marry... Uh, her off to yet, but eventually. Okay, the current situation is I have all my guys on the borders. Both of the Grey Stark uh, brothers are right on the side of the lines there. The youngest Grey Stark is right here. You got that middle door guy who's the son of that Roger dude. And the prince and the king are both on the outskirts of the Stormlands. I also have the Northern Fleet. Which is uh, a fleet to rival the Ironborn's fleet, which I uh, decided to build. To learn. Yes. Command me. Move out. Onward. Your Majesty. Yes. Command me. Yes, yes, my and the war begins. Maintaining the siege orders. I'm going to use this army here to take what's no down here, pretty much. Full sail. Attacking on your command. A glorious Send the Northern Fleet. Full we might bump sail. into the Iron One, though. See whose ships are better. Probably theirs. <laughs> yes, Lord. My money is on theirs being a lot better than mine. Uh, I will send... Yeah, Grace Stark, you can go right over here. Into the fray. Now the current situation in the Reach is pretty much the Storm Kings and Gardner are beating the shit out of each other from both sides. The Storm Kings attacking from the east, obviously, and the Gardner is just pretty much defending the Reach. Meanwhile, you have House Mud attacking from the north and the Riverlands and the Crownlands. So it's just kind of a giant fucking war going on in the Reach that we're uh, only just joining. I sent the youngest Carl Stark down there to High Garden, and this guy can. Siege Olrek. We march to battle. Laying siege. Maintaining the siege. Now Gardener has quite a lot of cash and is not a pushover in this, so Lord. Yes, Lord. March. We can march no further today. Your orders, noble, noble Lord. We march. Without question, we shall begin the siege. Besieging forces reporting, my lord. If I build my lord. Yes, lord. two of those and I can do that. Okay, yes. we'll send the we prince around there. Life. Uh, one thing. I put this on while we were not recording. And off you go. We don't want to skip AI movement, it's horrible. Okay, we're now at war with House Gardner. So is House Mud and everybody else. So if we end the turn... We'll probably go into an immense debt very soon, but uh, it's because I built all my guys and then when I had loads of cash.
But we should go down quite a lot every turn. Noble lord, with honor. We will engage them honorably, my lord. Hello, your highness. Very well. Okay, high gardens relatively defended. Your but not that well Hello. defended. Yes, Karstark should just easily be able to get over here and siege it. God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. God bless us in this siege, my lord. Your orders, Greg Stark can take that. Yes? Hey, yeah, look, they've had some awesome little battles around here. Move out. Orders? Yes. Crossing for battle. This army can the take Bitter Bridge. Us, my lord. They're going nowhere, my lord. Yes, lord. Of course, my lord. We will engage them honorably, my lord. Without question, we shall begin this your orders, noble one. What do they have? Crossbowmen. Hmm. Is that really worth fighting? Nah, not not such a little little place like that. A most honorable victory, my an honor to serve. Yes, Lord. Yes. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Now, this place, on the other hand, Fellwood, definitely worth fighting for. God bless us in this siege, my lord. Not so much a bronze gate, so I can move the prince over to Storm's End straight away. Okay, we'll enter. Ah, forgot about the ships that I'm sending around. Now, hopefully, House Mud will see this opportunity that I'm um, making for them and actually move in and help me. Men, pull down the defenses. At least that's the plan. <laughs> Command me. Onward. I'll send as many forces as I can on Old Town, and then I'll move them across and take what I can. Yes. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Your orders? Yes. Plotting course now, my lord. Yes, yeah, Yes, my lord. They have control of the Yarba, it just remains a question of how much yes, power sir. they have. <laughs> Mainly over here. And, but they could have... Huh? Okay, yeah, I, I did get map information from Martel, and it, it says that they're uh, in Dawn, the sneaky little bastards. Yes, Lord. With honor. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Without question, we shall begin the siege and honor to serve. We will engage them honorably. It's a nice and easy little victory. Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. Our courage has prevailed. These lands are yours, my lord. Your orders, noble one. I will we will engage them honorably, my lord. Hmm. I just realized that I left right Bronze Gate completely and utterly undefended. <laughs> Hopefully it won't run for the hills. Oh shit. Gardeners sending reinforcements. And Mud's here. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, Lord. Pack some announcements. Another great stack member, which is awesome. An honor to serve. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. God has granted his faithful this victory. We will engage them honorably, my lord. Blessed Lord, it is said you do not Prince Dick me. is on his way. So we'll take Britter Bridge in a second. Chris Dark's in there, he's got high tower. Yes. As my lord wills, we uh, march. Win. Aha! <laughs> These guys are just kind of strike forces, they're gonna... The enemy are beaten! Noble Lord, we have conquered! Orders. I plan on keeping these keeps. Orders. Yes, bringing our troops together. Orders. My Lord. Yes, Lord. Closing for battle. Decisions... Yes. 
Whoa! That is a lot of ironborn. Plotting course now, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. Break okay, I think I split the fleet in half. Yes. Full sail. Yeah, they still control this, so I can go around here and block their port around here. Yes. Okay, let's start with taking Bitter Bridge, because yes. we're As gonna have guard them on my ass in any second now. Let's do this. Hopefully more forces from House Mud will show up, but I imagine they've been fighting them for quite a while, so they've probably taken losses. I mean, all sides have been fighting in the middle of the reach. Storm Kings against the Tyrells for... Uh, not Tyrells, Gardeners for quite a while, so... It's kind of make this makes those old comments that I used to get about... Uh, People saying, oh, can you just do the toggle fog of war cheat so that we can see what the map looks like? As I, I was like, huh? I, I, it's got its perks, I guess, being able to see like what's going on in other places. I mean, technically, you would get like ravens and stuff informing you when capitals have been taken and stuff, which is something that I think a script should be in the game. If a certain house's capital was taken, then you should be informed of it for like a raven is sent from Storm's End or King's Landing informing you of blah 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 attacking blah 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 blah. <laughs> wow, I have a lot of cavalry in this. Please, for the love of God, do not let my battering ram die. If my battering ram dies, there's pretty much all my forces in this. I think this is more built for a. Uh, Field army, this room more than anything. Okay, let's get them that side. You can go on that wall. And you can go on that wall. Is that going to work? This guy can't get to some one of these walls, whatever. Okay, send a little tiny amount of infantry that I actually have to the front gates over here. And those guys can go there as well. Okay, let's do this. I think they had a trebuchet or some shit like that inside here, didn't they? For fucking sure, I saw a trebuchet in there. Uh, Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. Let's go have a look. The beauty of unrestricted camera movement. <laughs> so you, you guys, just stay there. That's right. Protect that gate. I'm coming through that gate soon. You, you just stay there and. Uh, be totally useful. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no matter. Okay, this is a case of once the battering ram is takes the gate down, I charge my guys in straight away. The gate with the battering ram. Ram has done its work. Now there you it's go. Time for brave hearts and brave okay, I'll send the infantry in first, and then send the cavalry in afterwards. Completed, 
Okay, preferably not letting my infantry sit there getting burnt alive slowly by boiling lava. I always call it lava. I don't know why. It's boiling oil, not lava. It's hot, okay? It's hard to make the mistake. It's an honest mistake, damn it! There you go, now that you're not getting boiled alive by that shit. The cavalry's sitting there getting blasted by shit. Let's just pull them back for a second. Send one group of guys to just fight that up there, and these guys can come and attack him. If I can cut these guys off. They're uh, smart enough to run and attack. That's nah, not gonna happen. Oh, alright, mate. Now, if I send my cavalry through now, this is gonna get stuck in that pile of guys. So, uh. It's probably better if we just funnel their infantry down for now and then send in my cavalry and everything else in a moment. Yeah, they're sending reinforcements, aren't they? <laughs> Not that going to do much good. I think my guys are far better uh, trained. Let's take guard mode on. They're kind of surrounded. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Seriously, is it really going to start a riot? <laughs> you guys are seriously running right now. Okay. Fuck it, at the risk of burning my general alive. I'm fed up with my infantry being pussies. Get past them. We are blessed. The enemy. Yeah, I think my guy's still standing. Yep, he is. Awesome. So that was their general, Tali. There are progressively large advantages to having a huge cavalry force. <laughs>
Excellent. Our men have taken control of the castle. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. thinking about doing a flanking remover and going around there and attacking them from the other side, but we're going to win in a second anyway. Zerg rush tactics. <laughs> Get the cavalry, giant cavalry force that would just be awesome on the field of battle rather than a siege. But you never know, I might actually be able to reach them in time. <laughs> I got one minute to go over there. They're all dead. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so much for that. At ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. Well, no, we win. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory. Lost more than I'd like, but uh, there you go. Yep. Sorry. I hit the mic. <laughs> I lost a good one third of my army and all that. Which kind of sucks. We have crushed them. This place is yours, my lord. Your will. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Uh, no point in doing that. Easy victory. My lord, we are victorious. Noble lord, we have conquered. Orders, your majesty. Orders, your majesty. We continue tomorrow, my lord. Lord. An honored noble lord. Okay, next turn. My lord, they're engaging us. Really? Two units versus mine. I'm pretty sure that my guys suck. <laughs> the fleets that I've built. There's a lot of them, but they just suck. So I, I may actually get rid of those and just get keep the upkeep kind of thing. <laughs> He's taking Lordship of Britterbridge. The Storm Kings are showing up to fight, though. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Plotting course now. And it's a hundred each. Your See, they're, they're quite shit units. Yes, my lord. Let us get rid of them. Your orders? Yes. Yes, my lord. Your orders? Yes, my lord. Your orders? That's at least, I mean, that's 10 units, so that's 100 each, of, like a thousand, pretty much, so... <laughs> money I could be using yes. on crack! Before I mean, we shall meet on units. God be praised! He has delivered... Yes! Move out! We continue tomorrow, my lord. Your majesty. Mark! Combining forces, my lord. <laughs> An honor to serve. We will engage them honorably, my lord. A most honorable victory. <sighs> God has granted his faithful this victory. <sighs> Blessed lord, we thank you for delivering us. We will engage them honorably, my lord. God has granted, noble lord. Yeah, he's a lord of Britain Bridge. It's quite nice. Nice for him. Okay, 
where are the gardeners going? You Storm Kings. There's quite a lot of them in the Stormlands, though. They've all uh, sort of rallied over to kick my ass. <laughs> See what happens when I don't annihilate the fucking every village that I get. They get cocky and think they have the right to sit there bitching about their fucking population. <sighs> We're not happy! Tough fucking shit! Be grateful that I didn't just kill you all. Onward. We continue tomorrow, my lord. Orders. March! Oh the crap, the iron ball. Okay. We're just gonna get that army and put it back in old town. <laughs> There are a lot of Gardner forces all over the joint. Uh-oh. No, I do not have enough time to do a big battle like that. Show faith. God is still with us. Please do not retreat so much that yes, you fucking... <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he went right next to the army, which is nice. Oh crap, more of them. Okay. Hey, Mud. Now would be an excellent time to show up. Hey, there they are. They bought like a couple of hundred men, which is better than nothing, I guess. Your My lord. Yes? I will enjoy your land and women soon enough. Move out! Yes, Lord, you hate me. There's Cuff Stark's next target. House Mud are finally moving in. We'll move Malador here back to Brit Bridge because he's vastly outnumbered by the gardeners. Your orders, number one. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. God will be with us, men. To battle! Yeah. A most honorable victory, my noble lord! God will be with us! <laughs> you gotta love the uh, tactic of let's attack at night! So the other guys can't help. An honor to serve. A most honorable victory, my noble lord! Noble lord! Blessed lord, we thank you for delivering us! An honor to serve! With God's blessing and yours, God has granted his faithful this Turns out most of those forces are actually quite shit. Noble <laughs> Lord, God will be with us, men. Your orders, noble one. Not all of them, actually, but quite a few of them weren't exactly up to the beat with everybody. Yes, Lord. We will engage them honorably, my lord. No, look at Saita. Why does that? Why does she look like a cheerleader? I'm not even going to ask. It's a blonde cheerleader. We're just going to all resolve this because that's like a 30 minute long battle taking High Garden. We've done it before. <laughs> how many times and how many videos have we taken High Garden? God has delivered us this victory. That is a lot of Ironborn. Your orders, noble one. If I can, I'd love to divert some Kustark forces down here to kick Other some ass. The might of the Reich, coward. Yeah, see, look, most of them are spear militia and militia and levies and shit, mainly because they only control two castles, or three if you count the one in 
Dawn. Hopefully Martells aren't getting their asses kicked too bad. I'm hoping that, they're mart that the muds are moving down forces. They're moving down forces from over here at the very least. So we should get some reinforcements from them pretty damn soon. Yes, With God's Your orders, number one. Um... I will enjoy your land and See how they got quite a lot of spear militia as well. I think they've been fighting for a bit too long. <laughs> they don't have the they don't have the uh, equipment to do this anymore. I shall okay, she can marry a Karstark, but she's related to the Karstarks by blood, so that's a bit weird. Anyway, we won't go into depth on that. But anyway, guys, it's been half an hour, so when we come back, we'll deal with uh, Seaworth here and take some more of the castles that we're sieging. The Ironborn are going to put up quite a fucking fight. I mean, they've got two full armies there, but they're not particularly well-trained armies. They're just kind of, let's build as much shit as we possibly fucking can. But it, it does make me worry what's going on in Dawn at the moment. Huh? Yeah. Martel docks were already blockaded by the Ironborn fleet, by the looks of it. But it does make you worry. What the hell's going on over there, kind of thing. But anyway, guys, when we come back, we will deal with the rest of the reach. Well, hopefully, anyways. Annotation, top right-hand side. I will see you there. Soul out.